Welcome to John's Metal Titting Adventures. Okay, here we are on a new permission, new fields that we've been told by the farmer that loads of detectors have been on. But we, the Equinox Kings and Mick Deus, are going to see if there's anything else out of here for today. Which, uh, thumbs up if we do find something. So we'll catch you later. Twenty four. <coughs> I've got it out, whatever it is. We've got it out. Been pointed on the job. Oh, I think this is a kind, eh? Oh, oh I don't know. Oh, it's a buckle. Aha. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Uh, some sort of... I think it's a sort of small horse decoration, personally. That's what I think. I'll clean it up and show you later, but it's all patterned up. Victorian. Clears both sides. Six bands. Victoria. Clean up, show you the date later. Nice bit of uh, silver. Victoria, sixpence. Show you the date later, not really sure because it's a bit dirty. Tablespoon. Uh, so, Kev's found a uh, plated silver uh, dessert spoon or soup spoon. You can see all marks there, but it's plated. And uh, pity it's silver, but um, silver in here, mate. Eh? Gotta be. What an amazing feel. <laughs> there you go. Stuck in the muck. Half penny of Victoria. Pistol shot, musket shot. Close to that size. That's what that is. Let's see what's in this uh, lump of muck. Here we go. Oh yes, it's a coin, definitely. Yes, we've got a, a, a penny. Of somebody. I think it's George V. Penny. Clean up, show you later. Oh, cap, I think it's of some kind, I think. It's huge, massive. Uh, anyway, uh, not of great historical significance. It's in there. Another military button. Oh, is it straight down? It's a big piece of lead. Lead bucket. Yeah. I think that's early 20th century. Bit of a ring, could be a bit of a small plate. So I'll say. It's off a cracker there, and he's got a uh, uh, George III chilling. Oh, well done, pal. Perfect, perfect. So we're all on silver now. Brilliant. Get that cleaned up and get the date. George V, Penny. I've got it out. And it isn't. <laughs> hey, we got a silver. Oh yeah, great. Oh man. 
Happy with that. Silver, ta da! Threepenny beat, Victoria. Just slip down. Oh, it's Edward. Edward the Seventh. Just here. Victoria Penny, out of that hole there. Can't see the date, but I'll uh, show it you later. It's George the Third, I think. This is for the second half penny. Ship Apenny, that one. Victorian Penny. A bell rim, yeah. I think that's part of a bell rim. Right, how many coins did you get then in total then, Kev? Total three today. Three coins today, which well, is not very good, is that? No, but you had a nice really. silver though, didn't you? Yeah, lovely silver. At least, at least you got a nice silver there, so yeah. that's three coins. Bits of artifacts. Your bits of artifacts, not much, but still. Yeah. Man of the match for the silver, yeah. so. Nice silver there, yeah. yeah. Right, okay, what about you then? Uh, I was going to pull them all out on here. Oh, yeah. Mm. Some pattern there, I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, we have to investigate and think how that could be part of a knife and part of uh, some furniture fittings and all sorts of things and, and his silver um, Georgia, Georgia fifth silver and what uh, what year is that then? Uh, I thought it was a threatening bit uh, 1918 which is right smack in the middle of the First World War So how many coins did you have then? So 13 for you mate Yeah well 13. done mate eh? This is what I found so far Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and plus my silver, eight coins, buttons, bit of lead, and we've got buckles there, different variations, with bits of copper. So, at least I'm on silver. <laughs>